Love Pack, Angela Wolf here, and that's literally what it looks like outside right now. It is blowing, snowing, and I even caught a little bit of a cold. So how do you like that? <laughs> so I just wanted to pop in. I'm not going to stay long today because I'm resting my voice, but I see you all. Hello, hello. Today, I have some beautiful fabric. I'll give you a little peek here. Ooh, some luxe fabric, and I'm going to make an infinity scarf because I went through my entire stash. I can't find gloves. I can't find a hat. I can't find anything. I don't know where I put it. I guess I just thought it was going to be summer forever. So welcome to the party. That's what we're going to make today. So your news for the week. I'll be sending a newsletter out this evening because the big event is Friday. Friday at noon is the big fabric stash sale. So I've been going through this, probably why I caught a cold. I think I'm allergic to fabric. <laughs> Actually, probably the dust on the fabric. I've gone through and I have found so many bolts of fabric that I don't need anymore. I've taken one yard like this, by the way. How do you like this top? Now this actually you would wear with leggings, but I'm wearing with jeans. This fabric is amazing. It's metallic knit. This, the rest of the bolts will be in the sale on Friday. So the sale will be at noon. If you haven't downloaded the Angela Wolf Patterns app, go on your phone, look up Angela Wolf Patterns, and the sale will be at noon Eastern. And I'm looking very forward to making room for some new items coming. So, all right. Anyways, let's see what else is going on. If you won anything in the last two weeks, or actually the last three weeks with Joe, be sure to email me, okay? Or send me a private message. I, I'm missing about five people. So I'll see if I can dig out your email addresses, but um, then I can give him the whole list. So he does not have the list yet. He just got back in the office this week. So as soon as I give him the list, he can start shipping. Any questions on that? You can let me know. All right. Good morning. Good morning. So <laughs> can you hear that wind? So hopefully we don't lose power because it is really blowing like crazy out there. Good thing we're not going out there. Thanks, Arnell. I actually did a cuff kind of like the top I was wearing yesterday. Isn't this fun? And I thought I'd give you guys some tips for cutting this out and sewing it because it's a really stretchy fabric. So I'll give you tips for that, and then we're going to make a scarf. And I can see you all. We are live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, and I can see all of your comments uh, and questions rolling in. All right. So let's go on over to the table. Oh, before we go, how wide and how big do you want this scarf? So that fabric's really, really thick. I have a favorite, favorite scarf here. Uh, Carrie gave this to me. I don't know if you're on here, Carrie, but I love this thing. This is one scarf that I did find. So let me bring my little dress form over here. There you go. All right. So Carrie did this piece, and this is the coolest thing ever. Uh, Carrie, did you make this pattern up or did you find it? I don't know, but I love it. She has little snacks on here. One side is plaid, one side is furry, and it wraps around, if I can get this right, I think this goes over here, yeah. And then this snaps like this. And then this snaps up here. It's absolutely a brilliant design, by the way. So it gave me inspiration. I'm not going to make this style because I don't want two of these. But you have to decide how thick do you want the scarf? Do you want it to come up on your neck? Are you like super hot all the time? <laughs> and if it's an infinity scarf, it's not gonna wrap. It's always going to be on there. So I'm going to measure around my head because I just want it to go over my head, but not too tight on my neck. So I'm gonna go, I think about this would be fine. I can get it over my head. I could make it tighter on my neck if I want, but I cannot stand turtlenecks or anything tight anymore. I don't know, some phase. <laughs> so this is 32 inches, I think. It doesn't seem like 32 inches. 32 inches? It is 32 inches. I'm gonna go 32 inches long. I could even go a little shorter if I want to. And then how wide do you want this? I'm thinking maybe six inches wide. Six inches wide by 31. Somewhere in that range is what I'm gonna do. So we'll go over to the fabric and let's cut this stuff out. And you thought my voice was raspy now, wait till I start playing with all this fabric. Okay. I 
This stuff is so soft. So the back side is obviously the wrong side. This is the right side. Uh, salvage to salvage. You can see the stripes going up and down. There's definitely a nap to this fabric. All right. Let's see which way do I want this to go. Both sides are, it's kind of like a double nap. <laughs> Either side could be fine. So I'm going to fold this in half and just see how wide we have this fabric. I know, isn't this beautiful? And I have, you know, my black jackets are my favorite. This is going to look fantastic with the black jacket. So this is hmm, about 60 inches wide. Well, that would make two scarves, actually. I don't know if I really want two. So if I go to 31 inches, I wonder if I can get just 29 inches over my head. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to make this. I'll make two scarves. And then I'll give one to one of my sisters. How's that? If you're watching, Julie or Teresa, oh, I could give one to my mom, too. And then let's go... 14 inches. I wanted six inches wide. Let's go 14 because we need a seam allowance, right? So this is about right here. I'm just going to use my mat to line this up. I could use a rotary cutter, but I'm just going to use my really sharp scissors just to cut through this. And I have a little vacuum cleaner to clean this up when I'm finished. You know this can be a hairy mess. You like how I matched up my cuff, by the way? Very fun, isn't it? All right, let me get this out of here. And I'm just going to cut out these ends here. Well, I know it's the salvage. I could just leave the salvage for now and cut those off later. So the idea is an infinity scarf, you're going to sew all the way down with right sides together. And then once you get back to the original end, instead of attaching it like this, you twist one side. So it's kind of an infinity scarf. All right. So I'm going to just make sure. Whew. That's a frame. Anybody want to come and vacuum my studio? Oh, my gosh. I'm making a mess. So I'm folding this in half so I can find the exact half so I can get two scarves out of one fold. And by the way, if you make a comment today, I will give you the rest of this fabric, which is about a yard. So if anybody would like a yard of this fabric, why don't you mention why you would love to win some of this beautiful fabric? All right. And tag Shannon Fabrics, too, by the way. Thanks for sending me this stuff last year. I'm finally getting it out of the box. I really didn't want it in the summer. But in the winter, for sure. So if you mention Shannon Fabrics, tell them thanks for this fabulous fabric. Uh, I will send the rest of this to whoever wants it. And I'll draw one lucky winner at the end of today's show. Okay, so I have one piece here. I'm sure, I'm sure that'll go over my head, but that looks a little small, don't you think? Uh-oh, hopefully I didn't screw this up. All right, let's go see. <laughs> I've got lots of fur going on here. All right, so I just want to make sure I didn't make this too small. This is going to get fur all over me. No, it's good. It's good. Anybody want to come to my studio right now? I would love a cleanup. So I'm going to take this long piece. And I'm going to turn it inside out. And we are going to stitch along the long side. All right, let's go to the machine. If you want to win one yard of this fabric, tag Shannon Fabrics and tell them thank you for this fabulous fabric. And I will draw a winner. Let me open the giveaway software, by the way, just so I can collect your comments and I don't miss anybody. So hold on one second. I got fur in my tea. 
All right, let me see if you have any questions too. I'm doing this as I'm vacuuming. All right. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so it should start collecting your comments. Let me make sure it works. Yes, it is. So it's already started collecting. So just keep making comments and you're in. All right, so we got one long side. Now, you know, this would be really pretty if it was a double as well, but you know, I'm just not, I can't handle all that fabric. So I think just one is gonna look fabulous. I think I actually saw Shannon was doing a video on doing a little pocket in here too, which would be kind of cool. A little place for your, <laughs> for your wallet, for your money. All right, so let's get to this machine. <laughs> Kathy, I'd love it, but you wouldn't use it here in Florida. You know what though, Kathy, it'd be a cozy blanket on one of those rainy days in Florida. All right. Now I could use my move it foot that I used yesterday, but I'm just going to use a standard foot today because I just finished sewing my top and I didn't have time to change it. Got black thread in here. And I'm using about, about a half inch, see, half to a little over half inch, a little less than half inch seam allowance. Stitch length of 2.5. And if my sisters are watching, Julie or Teresa or my mother, if you want the other scarf, let me know and I'll make two. If not, I'll give it to somebody in the wolf pack. All right, just making sure I get all the fur in there. Now, like with faux fur, I would actually cut all this fabric out of the seam allowance this is so soft, it doesn't, it's not that bulky. I'm just gonna leave it for now. We'll see, I might cut some of it off. Now what I am doing is I'm holding the fabric together as I sew, you can see my hand here. Otherwise the bottom is gonna feed different than the top. That's where your move it foot, if you have one, would come in handy. But I'm holding it and it should be feeding correctly. Okay, here we go. Now I could trim this off. I could, actually I could actually trim or shave it off. I might get rid of some of that bulk. So let's go to the table. Okay, now, scarf number two. This is for one lucky winner. What's left of it, which I, it should be about a yard. All right, I'm just going to trim some of this off. I don't need it all. It's like just a lot of extra hair there. It's like trimming the dog, <laughs> although I don't have one. All right, so this side looks pretty straight. This side, I have a seam allowance. I'm just gonna trim off. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that seam allowance because my seam allowance where I sew will be in here. This is not a seam allowance. This is a salvage is what I meant. So you have your scarf, fold it up like this. There's both of our seams. And all you have to do is take Maybe give yourself a little marking for the opposite side of where you sewed, right here. Take this and go like this. All right, you want me to do it again. Give your long straight, just like this. Have any of you taken my craftsy class where I showed how to make these, uh, not out of this fabric, but these are some of my favorite scarves. So take this, there's your seams, and then just flip it once. Once. Now, 
There's my seam and there's my seam. Now I will start sewing all the way around this. I'll put a couple of pins here just to make sure it's lined up. Just don't lose your pins in this fabric. You might want to use fabric clips if you have a problem with that. I'm just going to throw a few pins in here just to make sure it lines up. So now you can see I'm going to be stitching. Wait a minute. That's not right. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not stitching wrong sides together. I need to stitch with right sides together. So after I flipped it, now that I just confused the heck out of you, take this side and match it to this side. You know, it's been a long time since I made one of these. I better pin this to make sure I didn't screw this up. You'll have to kind of maneuver around. So you're stitching with right sides together. And I can't see your comments, but I'm sure there's a few LOLs going on right now. This little snip should match with your seam. Pretty close. I'll put a pin there. I'll probably finger press this seam open if it's not too difficult to do. The way around. I gotta make sure that I can get back in and out of this thing. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, I'm changing this. I'm putting this right side out. My goodness gracious. Right side out. Same thing, fold it up, do your little flip. Now, now it makes sense. So you're going to be pinning with right sides together. Same thing I did, I just had it inside out. Here we go. Now when I sew around, you just have to leave a little opening because you won't be able to sew this entire thing closed, but you'll be able to get pretty far. And then when you're finished, we'll do some hand stitching for the end. Make sense? Now that I just confused the heck out of you. So I'm going to fold this one more time for those of you that watched the beginning and you're like, wait a minute. So I've turned this right side out. Here's my seam right here. Fold this up. Twist it once. And now with right sides together, you're going to stitch this. And you'll be able to make it most of the way around. And if you followed my first way, then you're just going to have an infinity scarf that's inside out. <laughs> the furry is going to be on the inside. So I can only put a few pins here. That'll get me started. All right, let's go to the machine. All right, you have to push all this fabric out of the way and I need to stitch past this selvage. I don't want my selvage to stick out. Why did I leave the selvage? Well, because then I don't have a bunch of fuzzies on that end. Start stitching around, making sure I don't stitch over any of the pins. Now you can't get all the way around because otherwise you need to have a little opening so you can flip this back right side out. So I'm going to stitch as far as I can. Get my hands out of the way there. Do a little back stitch and let's see what we have. All right, so you see my stitching as far as I can get that. Tuck this in. There we go. So I have an opening about this far and I can either hand stitch that or just run that through the machine and I'm just going to run it through the machine. So you'll take your fabric, just tuck this in. It's the same as your seam allowance. You can even give that seam just a little tug and it will just fold right in. There it 
There's my opening and my opening ends right here. So I'm going to put a pin there just so I know because this stuff's really furry. I'm using black thread, but I don't think you'll be able to see it in this at all. And I'm just going to stitch right on the edge, capturing that seam. I'm sure I will be able to fluff that hair a little bit so you won't be able to see it. So if this isn't going to be one of the fastest gifts you could ever give to someone, I don't know if I could think of anything faster. Even that book cover took longer than this. Yeah, you can't even, it captured both edges. I'm just gonna fluff up that hair right around my stitching there. We'll see what we have. All right. So Carrie, by the way, if you're watching, I love this scarf. We might have to have her on and show us how to make that because I love it. So you can see my stitching just barely. I've scrunched it up. It's the best part of this hair is that you can kind of just finger move that around. You can't see it. So that could go against my skin if I wanted it to. You could put a, your tag, like your garment tag or whatever. So you can see how this is just, it will get over my head. But if I put it on here, I'll probably pass out. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's what I need today. So hold on, I'm going to go try it on. I'll be right back. Oh, yes, I love it. I went over there so I didn't get hair everywhere. What do you think? Is this going to be so much fun? So when it's freezing outside, I can just keep this on. Get the hair out of here. Hold on. I think I got most of the hair off of it. I'm going to run this to the dryer just to get like the last. I think it's going to look fabulous. How long did that take? My watch went dead. Um, 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to make another one for one of my sisters and then somebody else is going to win. I know. I think this is going to look fantastic with a black jacket. I actually, hold on. Where's my black jacket? I don't know. It must be in the other room. <laughs> All right. So you want to get some tips for sewing this uh, knit top too? This was something where I had to place to make sure you can match these lines up on the sides, on the front and the back. I put little slits in here. So let's take a look at the table. Oh, Susan, you're right. It would look really good with the red coat. And I have a red coat. Okay, so I'm going to push this to the side, but if you'd like to win this, make sure you leave a comment why you want to win it and take Shannon Fabrics. And I'm going to get all this hair off of here. I don't want to blow it too far because I've got a little vacuum cleaner, and if I blow it on the floor, it'll be here for like a week. Okay. So here's the other project I'm working on. And again, this, the rest of this bolt of fabric, which I think there's only six yards left, is going in the sale on Friday. So the back side of this is just a black knit. The front side has a very high stretch. So you could do a fitted, a fitted top out of this. I wanted it to be a little looser because just because the drape on this is so nice. So I actually cut out, if you look at the whole piece of fabric, it has like, there's a panel, there's a panel, there's a panel. I'm saying a panel, it's one piece of fabric, but it's like different textures of the fabric. So I went through and cut out one of these wider pieces to use as my cuff. So underneath on the bottom of my cuff is this part. 
So I cut out two panels for the cuff. And then I lined up all the sleeves with the top. So I needed a little bit, I think I used two yards for the top I'm wearing. Because if I just took this and folded it under, that was too shallow for a cuff. But I did use one panel like this for my neckline. So first I went through and cut out for my cuffs and my neckline. Now here is your biggest tip. Because this fabric, see how it scrunches here at the end? It was really hard to lay it out and match up these stripes. So the first thing I did was cut off the salvage. And if you're new to sewing knits, I have an essential guide to sewing knits class, which will walk you through the fabrics, how to cut it, how to sew it. But this will give you a little bit of a tip. Cut off that salvage. And when I do that, I want you to just take a look at this end here. When I cut that salvage off, Look at the difference. I've got a whole inch difference. This was really tight. Once I cut that edge, the selvage edge off, it relaxed the fabric and that makes a big, big difference. So now I can lay this down. I cut my garment without folding it. Now, how do you line up all of these stripes to the front to the back? Super easy. Let me just grab my slipper. <laughs> I accidentally cut off part of my sloper, but this is the hemline. That's not going to help you much. I'll start with the back. I line up my hemline for both of my pattern pieces at the bottom. By doing that, I know that my underarm seam is going to match on both sides. So wherever you want your hem to be, line it up here. So because most of your patterns are going to be where you fold it, I would lay this flat, cut out this side, and then flip it over and cut out this side. I did that for the front and the back. Can you tell how old my sloper is? Oh my gosh, I think maybe my New Year's resolution should be to cut some new stuff. This is my Rouge tea. It says May 2009. <laughs> well, good thing I can still fit it. I just add a little bit more in the bust area and I'm pretty good. <laughs> and there, so I can fit both my front and back on this one piece. Now, when I cut this, I was able to cut the front and the back and one sleeve, and then I needed another section to cut the other sleeve, which is this piece here. So out of two yards of fabric, I was able to cut the, sleeve, the top I'm wearing, and I'll be able to cut a tank top because this is going to look fantastic under a black sweater. I mean, I think it's going to look fantastic. And then I have a little bit of leftover of, to use as ribbing for the neckline and the armholes. All right. All right, let me see what you have to say. You move this out of the way. And good luck, by the way, to the big winner. All right, any questions for me? Hey, April. <laughs> I think the stripes are fun. So when I first bought this fabric, I bought a whole bolt of it because if you didn't know, one of the biggest trends for this year is going to be a lot of sparkle. Sparkle, glamour. You know, I don't know why they picked that, but I would tell you, why do you think we've been sewing all these velvets? Because with COVID, so many of us have been working from home. My goodness, even our next event is canceled. So a lot of us are sewing from home, but we're wearing comfortable clothes, but that doesn't mean you want to wear your PJs every day, right? So you can still use your PJ pattern, but I like a little glam. So this has a little gold metallic. It. I'm looking in the camera. You can't even tell how sparkly this is, but it's definitely a sparkle fabric, but it doesn't just have to be for the holidays. You know what I mean? So I could wear this with Let's see, in February, we're going to do pajama pants, but they're going to be luxurious, velvety, black. That will look great with this top. Black leggings will look great with this top, and I'm wearing it with a pair of jeans right now, and it looks fine. So I actually made this top. I started at about 1130, cut, sewed the top, threw it in the wash and dryer to make sure there wasn't lint on it so I wasn't sniffling during the show more than I already am. And here, it's done that fast. 
I did put slits in the side though, because I thought it would be fun and a little bit longer. All right. Oh, I see. I'll take care of it. Thanks, girls. Got a little troll happening. <laughs> a handheld fabric. It's definitely it, Susie. A handheld fabric. Oh, Jennifer. Definitely would work for covering a neckline. All right. Any questions, though? You all are saying I would just love the fabric. Hey, Kathy, if it's blowing in Chicago like it is here, it's got to be cold. You all are loving the fabric. Excellent, excellent. Okay, it's gathering your entries. So it was, Angie. The first one was canceled. Not the second one. Road to California is still fine, but the other one is canceled, unfortunately. Uh, you know, Jennifer, this metallic is not itchy because the inside is just black. Uh, it doesn't have the metallic on the inside. I was worried about that. Oh, I have a thread. You wouldn't want to cut the thread. <laughs> That's Wynn's job. Usually it's his teeth, but I think I can get this one with my snippers. Yeah, perfect. Um, I was worried about the cuff, and you know, I it's not bothering me, and I can't stand itchy fabric. So, so far, so good. <laughs> I agree. All right, I see a few more questions. What color is your top? It looks, it looks brown. I know it's gold. It's gold and black. I know, but it will be in the sale. Uh, the fabric, Denise, will be uh, in the sale on Friday. And the pattern I used was the ruched tee. And I just did a pattern alter hack for the sleeve, which we'll be doing in the Fashion Sewing Club here shortly. It's just like the top I wore yesterday, if you watch that show. <laughs> That's our trademark, Sadra. Sparkle, glamour, and velvet. <laughs> Karina, you're so funny. So true. So, Danita, if you want this fabric, uh, there's only six yards left, though. It's going to be in the sale at noon on Friday. So, download your app. You don't have to be, you don't, it's not just for the Fashion Sewing Club for this fabric sale because I'm unloading a ton of fabric. So, um, you'll, It'll be at noon. And I'm going to send the newsletter out tonight uh, to give you details. If you've missed the last newsletter or if you're new to the party, make sure you sign up so you know the details. It is Mary Lou. Only the first one. The road to California is fine, but the first one um, is canceled. Yeah, I know. Bummer. I know. I still have flights. Maybe I should just still come. <laughs> Well, Glenda, she's unpacking for what I was going to see you next week. I'm so sad I'm going to miss you, but I hope your cruise is a go. Hope so. Oh, hey, Linda. It's so nice to see you. All right. You ready? Oh, Marcy wants to know about the app. So go on your phone and download the Angela Wolf Patterns app. It looks like... My mom just called. I wonder if she wants that scarf. It looks like this. You can actually see the last live sale, uh, but the new live sale will be, the fabrics that's going to be on Friday sale are not all on here, and there's going to be a huge markdown. I need to make room for some new stuff coming. So it's Angela Wolf Patterns, and you can get it on Android or um, a a Apple, duh. <laughs> I know, Mari. I'm so sad, too. So that's where you so go on your phone, and that's where you download it. Angela Wolf Patterns. It looks like my logo. Thanks, Patty. Uh, Marsha, the dates for the shows that we did the giveaways, it was like the last three weeks. So it was all through December. Oh, Dolly. Nice to see you, by the way, Dolly. You could make a poncho out of that material. You could make a poncho. You could make a blanket. You could make anything like that. Oh, thanks, Josie. Oh, you want to see the whole top, Christine? Okay. Let me make sure that I have... I don't have pajama tops on. I have... 
See? And I just tucked it in with my jeans because this would look better with leggings because it has a slit on the side. But I tucked it in because if I don't, then it just looks too bulky. So that's the top. Pattern hack, brooch tee pattern hack. And actually, we're doing these sleeves in the Fashion Sewing Club. And then I'll show you how to do the slits too. It was very easy. All right, there you go. And okay, someone just said, where is your website? Angela Wolf, go to AngelaWolf.com. Let me bring it up for you. It's in here somewhere. I have too many little tags after our last sale. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it for you. Just to make sure. Nope, that's not it. It's just like my name, though. AngelaWolf.com. That's where you find everything. <laughs> I can see your comments. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. I don't know. Here, why don't I just type it in? I'm not sure where it went. It was here. Here we go. And you can get to everything from there. Got it. I knew it was coming. All right, you ready for the drawing? Because I'm going to let you guys go before I start. Um... <laughs> Marta, did I give you my allergies? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, which email should you use if you to claim a prize? So, hey, Jen, all you have to do is email me info at AngelaWolf.com or if you have one of my other email addresses from the Fashion Sewing Club, that's fine, too. Uh, Josie, is it possible to get more of that sweater fabric? Which sweater fabric? The one I'm wearing now or the one from last, the one I was wearing yesterday? Or this one will be on Friday. Uh, Marianne, do you need to download comments sold as well? So here's the thing. The sale is through comments sold. So you can watch it on the app, on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. There's also the comments sold on, um, if you go to Angela Wolf and click on uh, shopping and click on fabric stash, and then you can download that on your computer as well. Uh, so I think uh, some of you said you were watching <laughs> the show on Facebook or on the website, and you were buying on the app because the app was faster. So basically how this works is when I show a piece of fabric, you can purchase one yard or two yards or three yards, and I'll explain this again on Friday, but you can purchase right from the app or from the computer, whatever is the easiest for you. And then if you don't want it, then when you go to check out on your cart, that fabric will go to somebody else. Kind of fun. It's kind of like gambling, except you end up with a lot of fabric. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. You do have to register on comment sold first, though. So either register on your app or register on comment sold. Otherwise, you can't purchase any fabric. Now, if you just want to learn about fabric, it's a great thing to watch because I tell you what needles to use, what stitch and stuff like that. All right. <laughs> Let me uh, bring up my screen. Let's see who's going to win here. Who is going to win this fabulous fabric? Let me mention here, Shannon. Shannon Fabrics. Oh, there, Susan. I watched the show on my computer and purchased on my phone. There you go. Perfect. And you, if you guys have questions, you can let me know. Oh, thanks, Cindy. I do try to share a lot. <laughs> All right, drum roll, and I'm out of here. Who is going to win this fabulous fabric? If you are overseas, you may win the fabric. You just have to pay for shipping. Uh, but if you are in here, I will just ship it to you. Danita Cronin, congratulations. Danita, you're not related to my uh, sister, are you? <laughs> That's her maiden name, but you don't look like her. 
You don't look like Michael's sister, so I'm guessing not. <laughs> Congratulations, Danita. So all you have to do is email me info at AngelaWolf.com. There you are. Yay! Danita, Danita, you're not <laughs> Danita, you're not related to uh she lives in her husband's name is Michael, and they live in North Carolina. And that would be really funny. <laughs> Oh, it's your married name. It's her married name too. Oh, how funny. Small world, small world. So if you could just email me your address, I will mail you the rest of this gorgeous fabric from Shannon. Pull your vacuum cleaner out. Everyone else, I look so forward to seeing you. So forward to seeing you uh, on Friday. But before that, tomorrow on Brother at Noon, by the way, uh, let's see. I think Jerry's going to be going to an event. So there's four educators that are all going to share their tips for getting organized. The other thing is I'm going to finish this. I ripped half of it apart because Janice, one of our Wolfpack members, had the best idea. Did you watch me do the book cover yesterday? It's an easy, quick project. Number one, I'm going to take it apart because I want to add a monogram. And number two, I did not like the way the corners were so full with that vinyl. So on one side, I moved the vinyl down. And on the other one, Janice, you were brilliant. She said, why don't you just cut the vinyl on the corner so then there's no vinyl in the corners? And that's what I'm going to do to this side. So I will share that tomorrow live so you can see how that works. The rest of you, watch your emails because I'm sending the email out this evening on how to register for the sale. I would love to see you there. And if you don't even want to buy fabric, you might still want to watch because you learn a ton. And wish me luck because if I can get rid of a lot of this fabric, I can order a new batch for all of our new fun stuff that's coming in the spring. Oh my gosh, Danita, your husband's name is Michael too? Michael Cronin? There's two Michael Cronins. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, Helen, would that be funny if I won? I would do a repost. It's okay. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Um, Everyone stay safe and healthy. Super bummed about the, ne the next event, but that means I'm going to be here all next week. So that means I can get caught up on some other things that I've been working on. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great day. If you need anything, you know where to find me, Fashion Sewing Club. Uh, we sure had a fun show yesterday. The, the replay should be up uh, this afternoon. All right. Bye, everyone.